If at first you don't succeed, go bass fishing. you're watching angling anarchy and i am an absolutely frustrated musky fisherman uh, i've been trying to get out and get some musky content but we are just having one heck of a time whenever i have time to go the weather's not cooperating it's either cold windy raining all of the above we've made three different attempts so far this year i just i don't know what to do <laughs> it's getting really frustrating but i wanted to get my boat out and check out some shallow water. It's warming up just enough where I think some bass might be moving up in here. I'm gonna throw some, uh, like a small crankbait, like a man's minus one. It's, we're gonna be in really skinny water. I've got some swim jigs that I've made, uh, some weedless jig heads with an Esox Assault killer tail and then some Mylar on it, so it's a little bit flashier. But that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kind of pitch around in here See if we can't bump into at least a couple of fish to make a video out of because I'm struggling. I'm the struggle bus big time right now. So we have 52 to 54 degree water. We've got some weather coming in tonight. After today, um, I don't know if we're going to be able to fish this again for a little while. So I wanted to come out and check this out. I've caught some bass back here. You bump into the occasional pike. So that's it. I'm going to stop yapping and we're going to get to fishing. All right, well, we're going to get started here. Here's the swim jig I spoke of. It's a nice big white killer tail, a little bit of flash mylar on there, weedless jig head. I'm going to throw it with a 7-foot medium-heavy power sink coil with a Shimano Curado Super Free. This is an old reel, but it just keeps working, and I love it for pitching around this type of stuff. Um, there's a lot of vegetation that grew up in here. I uh, used to be able to get to the bases of those trees and I just don't think that's going to happen right now because we've got so much of this grassy stuff. But I'm going to pitch pitch to the edges of the grassy stuff and we'll see if we can't get a largemouth or a pike to come shooting out of there and give us a little bit of a show. Put a bend in the line, rod, tighten line, whatever. Let's fish. Alright, so one thing I've already noticed getting further into this little backwater here. My water clarity has gotten better and actually the temp has gone up from 52.1, you know, 52 basically to 54. So definitely thinking back here might hold some more fish just because it's warmer. That's a big thing in the springtime. You really just want to find um, those warmer water temps and we'll just keep pitching around. And I don't know if you can hear that, but there must be a shooting range close or someone's having an extreme firefight in southern Wisconsin here. Let's hope it's a firing range. Let's hope we don't get hit with anything. I don't think we will, but uh, yeah. If you hear banging around in the back, that's what it is. There we go, what do we got? That feels smaller. What are you? Bass? Okay. Hooah! <laughs> give the old bass master flip. Thanks, buddy. Nice fun day in the water. There we go. What do we got there? What do we got there? That feels better. Come here. Come here. Get up here. There we go. That's better than that last one. God, how fun is this? It isn't musky fishing, but what the heck, man? I mean, whoa, whoa, that is a blast right there. I don't care who you are. All right. All 
All right, well, two fish in the boat. As soon as I got as soon as I got done talking to you guys about how it was warmer back here, I started going along, seeing a lot of kind of plumes of mud kicking up. It's a really soft bottom. It's only about two feet back here. There were fish taking off everywhere. I, it's so dark out, even with the polarized glasses, I couldn't tell what they were. Might be carp. They might just be little schools of bass. I don't know, but there are fish back here, and uh, a small guy, a nice one. This is the start to a fantastic little afternoon of just checking the boat out and making sure everything's working. So let's keep at it. There's a fish. What do we got? Bucket? We got a large. That's cool. All right, come here, bud. There we go. That's a nice one. I will take that any day. Probably like a nice 17, give or take. That is cool on the swim jig. There you go, buddy. Thank you. fish. There we go. Another largey. Yeah. Nice. Nice. About the same as the other one. We'll just give him the old lift. There we go. All right. Making something out of today. Very cool. What is he just... Just out of curiosity, I know he's not huge, but... Sometimes just nice to know. Eh, 16 and a half. So I probably wasn't too far off when I said that other one was about 17. All right, buddy. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Feels like another decent one. All right. Yeah, kind of cookie cutter, but in a fun way. That's awesome. Just good to be out catching some fish again. <laughs> sure, the smallest one. Man, he, oh, there we go. <laughs> he waked right out of that little spot there. That's fantastic. That was fun. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Man, he wolfed it. You wanted that, didn't you, buddy? Holy cow. Well, it looked like somebody's been trying to chew on the back end of you, pal. I'd watch what you're doing out here. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you can see into the water, but it's it is. How deep is it here? It's that deep. So, it's gin clear water back here, just beautiful stuff.
There we go. What do we got here? Oh, what do we got? What do we got? You look bigger. Yeah, you're. Oh, that's a dandy. That is a dandy. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, man. Look at that. That's what we're looking for, man. All right. You got to be closer to that 18 inch mark, huh? Oh, yeah. 18 and a half. Yeah, 18. Yes. Woo! That's what we're looking for. That is a nice big bucket mouth. Very cool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> there we go. That's the one we were looking for. Cool. Whoa, what do we got there? That is bigger. That might be a pike. Oh, it's a catfish. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Oh no, it's... <laughs> wow, strike three, Brian. It's either know, some sort of buffalo or something, but he hit the jig. Look at that goofy thing. Holy cow. I saw the blue of it and I thought it was kind of a cat. What are you? Holy cow. Actually kind of a pretty fish. <laughs> oh, you goofy thing. Man, he whacked that jig. He ate that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy I'm an idiot let's try that again problem with these fish is there's oh there we go there's really nowhere to grab them there's no gill to grab <laughs> that is actually a pretty fish kind of weird looking but uh Huh. Well, cool. That was uh, quite a thrill. <laughs> okay, go away. Thanks for almost making me lose my rod. Huh. Well, that was different. And I'm dumb. What's new? Well, uh, what was just going to be a get the boat out, get it running sort of mission turned into catch a couple bass and whatever that weird thing was. I don't know if it was a quill back or you know, some kind of weird fish, but it, it whacked that bait and I've been getting other hits out here. So I wonder if there's more of them. Um, that would be, that would actually be kind of a fun fish to target. It's kind of cool looking, but uh, some nice large mouth, a nice 18 incher to top all the other ones off and just a fun day on the water. Sometimes you just have to take it. When the muskies are being mean, just go bass fishing sometimes. <laughs> so, all right, folks, that's it. It's getting dark. I got to get back home. And we will have, and I know I've been saying this for like two months now, we're going to have muskie content. I swear to you, I'm going to try to catch one of these stupid things, and it's actually going to work one of these times. So stay tuned for that. Until then, thank you, everyone so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next video.